Okay, it's February 1st, 2024. This is six scale. Okay, um, let's get started with uh, our agenda. So, Bartle, right, you've got the first item here. As the yeah. yeah, so I've been trying to, you know, um, get the integration with POC working. Right now, I am at a place where um, I have the make cluster sync working again. Um, oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then on top of that, I have changes for um, installing the latest POC release. If you don't make um, cluster sync using a, a variable. So okay. if POC deploy is true, then it will get installed. If not, it'll just skip. Um, now, the, the next thing I need to work on is where, um, which tests we will run this on, right? So the two options we have is um, shared cluster and the um, density cluster. Um, I looked at the the way the shared cluster is uh, is being used. So what, what happens in the end-to-end -end test is from the shared cluster, um, we, we create another instance of um, kind uh, cluster where the end-to-end the -end get, tests get run. So I was just wondering that because those are separate clusters, I can probably just uh, modify the E2E 127 tests um, to, you know, um, also run, run um, fake nodes and, and fake VMIs. But I'm, yeah, I, I'm open for feedback here. Thoughts? On this. Yeah, I think, um... Sounds fine to do in the shared cluster. Uh, and uh, are you thinking we create an, a whole separate job for this? And uh, like we don't, is that like what? What is your approach? Like, are you um, this this clock would be um, different than any of the performance jobs? Is that how you're approaching this? Uh it could be different, or it it could be a yeah. So the the three variants we could have is real VMIs, real plus simulated VMIs, and just simulated. Um, so we can start with a, a separate job with just simulated VMIs, and then if there are benefits of mixing real and simulated VMIs, we can take a look at that next. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, um, I think I think I think that makes sense. So I think let's. So I think a, so that would be a separate job. So a separate job. We allocate some. We'll only figure out how much memory this needs. It's probably need a lot less than what we have right now with 100, 100 VMs, and then um, create a certain amount of nodes, a certain amount of fake VMIs. Uh, yeah, I mean that. That's what I do to start. Maybe copy the like copy the other job, bump the memory down, and then try with a hundred or something. Try a hundred nodes and oh, actually that's probably too little. Hundred hundred nodes and a thousand VMIs or something. Yeah, something like that. I don't know how much that would take. In, it doesn't take much. I remember, like, it's it's like really small memory footprint. Like we can, like from what I remember from watching the presentation at KubeCon, it's like really tiny. Yeah. So so it depends on what footprint you're talking about. The footprint of the the box stack which reconciles those fake objects, or uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, the, the yeah. So like we would still need the the minimum. So I, what I was thinking is like if you go to the 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 um the look at the jet different Jenkins jobs and you could base probably copy um uh, most almost any of the jobs there and then maybe bump the memory up like one gig. Maybe probably we need that much and then um and that should be enough for doing a hundred nodes and a thousand VMIs. And then, and then, you know, we can always expand from there, but something like that seems good to start with. Okay, sure. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we, we'll do that. I think I was wondering if this needs, uh, you know, sub issues. So I think 
breaking this down into two, one for for the code changes and one for the CI job, I think that will be a good way to, you know, separate out things and, and track it. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, let's start with that. I think that's the easiest way to go because I, we already are really familiar with our results from the shared cluster. We'll get into the density test, I think, later. Let's do the shared cluster. Um, I think it's easy to copy and paste what we have in the shared cluster Jenkins stuff. Um, uh, it'll be really easy to allocate that job. So I think this will be our path of least resistance. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah, I, I think um, I'll try to make as much progress as I can on that. Okay, good, good. Okay, sounds good. Um, I didn't have anything else for today. Um, I don't know. Did do you have anything else? Or did we get Lubo and no, Lubo's here? No, we don't have Lubo. We have uh, Akash. Hi, nice to meet you, Makesh. What's your first name? Is Makesh your first name? Okay. Yeah. I'm still on mute. Okay. I don't know. I, I don't have anything else. I'll, I'll, I think um we can, uh, if we don't have, if we've got no comments, then we can end early. Oh, hi. Yeah. Can you hear us? Sounds like you can. You're on mute, by the way, if you want to, if you did want to say hello and introduce yourself. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. What's your, what's your first name? Uh, it's Mukesh. Oh, it is Mukesh. Okay. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Where, uh, where do you work? Uh, I'm actually a third year student currently pursuing oh. BTEC. Oh, cool. Well, welcome. Was well, there anything you're particularly interested in in QVert and, and learning about scale performance in QVert? Yeah, I actually uh, 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 newbie in this section and actually want to pursue the cloud plus DevOps part. So I ended up getting the QBird project and and so I want to start with contribution on QBird and just learning the basic stuffs and yeah. Oh cool. That's exciting. I mean is there um um if you like what is it um if you don't mind me asking like your use case, like what's some of your what is it that you're looking to use QBird for? Yeah, uh, I actually want to contribute on the building process. So it, it's like I it's like like building like building images. Um, is that weird? Is that we have in mind? Yeah. Uh, so the building process. I, I actually I don't know, but um, I actually want to uh, like uh, want to jump into the cloud and DevOps part. So. Uh, and just uh, building these types of tools and upscaling, actually upscaling my Golang journey. It's also okay. Cool. Well, um, you should uh, if if you're not already the the Qbert has a Slack channel. Um, yeah, on, I um, actually on, joined the Slack. Channel. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, like you can always ask questions in there, and then. And if yeah. you do want to, uh, you know, if you haven't already to get started, um, actually, the lay has a like handy mm -hmm. link here. You can do, um, you can start your own cluster. Kubernetes or Kubernetes has nice tooling and repo for starting a Kubernetes cluster yeah. with Kubernetes on it. And, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah. Actually, last um, four or five hours ago, I just uh, deployed a virtual machine on Kubernetes. So, that's awesome. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Very cool. So, um, Mukesh, there is also yeah. a meeting, a uh, community meeting on Wednesday, the same time. Oh, well, one hour later, every yeah, so, Wednesday. Uh, mm -hmm. I actually joined the yesterday's meeting. Also, what I'm trying to maintain the streak and so. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, awesome. So, um, yeah, that community meeting will have a lot of resources for, for you to, you know, help out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, getting okay. started. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Well, welcome, Ash and Makesh. If in, you know, feel free to attend these meetings. We always have um, 
we're always talking in those meetings about different things we're working on and, and different issues. And so there's mm -hmm. always things, if you're ever interested in working on some different things, we always have some ideas and, um, and things for people to look at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. Well, welcome, Hash Mikesh. All right, Alay, I don't have anything else. I think um, you know, we can enjoy. Mm, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah. Bye.